Hello everyone, so today we are making this chicken biryani using this shan box. So what I did first was fry up one big onion <clears throat> and I added in here ginger garlic paste. Second step is to add your chicken. As you can see, I have little slashes in my chicken because I always put little cuts in them so that the masala and everything can penetrate through. And uh, I am using all drumsticks. You can use whatever, you know, kind of pieces you have. But right now I have only drumsticks, so that's what I'm going with. After you add the chicken, you want to add your masala packet. I usually only use half. You can use the whole packet if you want or half. So I just gave it a nice stirring and I'm just letting this cook. The reason why I use only half a packet of the shan masala is because I feel with the whole packet, it gets way too spicy. And um, I don't know, it's spicy for us and then also it's hard for the kids to eat too. So I usually only put half a packet. Anyways, now while this is cooking, we're going to let it cook a little bit and then we're going to add um, two tomatoes in here, two chopped up tomatoes. Now add your tomatoes. I use two chopped up tomatoes. Now the next thing I do is I cut up some potatoes and I put them in here. So after the potatoes, I just added the cilantro and I'm going to give this a good mixing because the next step is going to be to add our yogurt. Okay, I put the chicken mixture on the side for a little bit because I'm getting started on the rice. So in the rice, I just added salt and then after salt, I added some shazira. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and add some elaichi, some cardamom. So after the elaichi, you want to add cinnamon sticks and long. And then the last thing I add is some cilantro to the water as well. So it's only been like five minutes and I'm just checking on the rice. It looks like it's almost ready because you don't want to cook the rice all the way, right? You need to keep it a little bit hard because it's going to fully finish uh, cooking in the oven. Okay, so I just strained out the rice and as you can see, the rice is still hard. So that's how we want it. We don't want it fully cooked. It's hard, so okay, we're good. So let's finish this off. Okay, my first layer is the rice, and I'm gonna add the meat on top. Now, rice on top of the meat again. Okay, so I finished doing the last layer, and now in a little uh, cup, we are going to add some milk, and then we are gonna go ahead and add our saffron. So now we just add some saffron in here. And now we're going to microwave the milk for just a few seconds. Okay, so the last step I do is add some fried onions to the top. Now we're going to foil this up. Oh, and don't forget the cilantro. <laughs> so fried onions and cilantro. Now let's cover this up. Okay, guys, so it's been 25 minutes and look at that so yummy <laughs> i just took it out of the oven and my husband just came home too so let's that looks so good gosh let's mix it up a little bit it's kind of hard to do this with one hand but oh my <laughs> that looks so yummy